Hi, this is Tony with Dynasys Tech Support, and uh, today we're looking at the Dynasys APU's uh, HVAC system, and we're going to do a little overview about what's going on with the HVAC. The HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, so we just call it HVAC instead of going through the whole thing. I want to say something about when you're dealing with the HVAC, you're dealing with 120 volt AC voltage and it can be uh, lethal. Nothing's happened ever, but it, the chance is always out there, so I want you to be very aware. So now, uh, the HVAC components. The HVAC components here, they are the AC compressor, the blower, the heater element, all these components are 120 volt AC powered. They're controlled with 12 volt DC. The 12 volt DC comes in on the side. It needs, it's very important to have 20 amps of available power. If there's any drop in voltage, it will cause problems on the circuit board. The printed circuit board is mounted on the side of the HVAC. It is controlled with DC signals from the ECM. It turns on the compressor, the heater, the blower, the different devices. On this side of the circuit board, the DC signals closes uh, relays, which will then conduct 120 volt AC power to the different components. This component is called the potential relay. It switches from the start capacitor, which is this large black one down here, to get the compressor moving. Then it switches to the run capacitor, which will keep the compressor moving at a lower uh, power uh, supply. And the AC compressor, this, the AC system is just like an automotive uh, mechanical compressor, except the compressor is electric. Starts here, this is the discharge line. The uh, refrigerant flows down to the, or out to the uh, condenser, goes through the condenser, turns into a liquid, comes back to the, uh, the HVAC, comes up through the floor into the expansion valve. The expansion valve meters it into the uh, evaporator and uh, uh, then it'll return to the accumulator on the compressor. It will, this will make sure it vaporizes back to a uh, vapor and into the suction of the compressor and then starts the cycle all over again. This component is the uh, trinary switch, thank you. My buddy Jake here has helped me out because I'm getting nervous on, on things. So, uh, trinary switch, it monitors the pressure of the high side. It does, it cuts out uh, the compressor at 350 PSI and below 40 PSI on the high side. It also controls the condenser fan when the discharge pressure reaches 225, the trinary switch closes, the pressure reduces down to 175, the trinary switch will open and the, the condenser fan will stop. And this is the back side of the circuit board. It's uh, facing the compressor. We have it down here as a, to show you what's going on. Uh, one of the interesting things is that this, this row here is LED lights. And so when you have the AC compressor activated, this light should be on. What this light will say is that the DC signal from the controller asking the HVAC to turn on the AC compressor with a 12 volt DC signal on this side, then the relays will close this light will activate it will conduct 120 volts through the relays 
and uh, the power will come out here. I call this the rows of spades. It's, uh, these terminals are uh, for the different components uh, in the HVAC. It has both AC voltage and DC, so be very careful in this area. On the circuit board also is the terminals for the condenser fan activation. If you jump these two together, the condenser fan will stay on any time the compressor is on. The circuit board also has the power connections for the blower inside the HVAC, one in here. This is a normal condition of a metal oxide varistor. It should be shiny and all together, not split open or uh, discolored and burnt. These are the fuses for the 120 volt systems. The, uh, the fuses are ceramic and they're labeled F1, F2, F, this one is uh, F3, and so on. Uh, and they also are marked at what their rating is. This one here is a 20 amp, says right there on the circuit board. Uh, so the circuit board is very labeled very well. Uh, if you have any questions, please do call. We also have this uh, wiring diagram available of the whole HVAC system. Okay, the blower. The blower is a uh, 120 volt AC device. Uh, be careful working on it. It is attached to the circuit board to J20 and J22. Uh, it is a variable speed. Uh, the circuit board increases and de decreases the voltage to uh, get the different speeds. The blower does not, the blower has three speeds, but in heat mode, it only has two. It only has low and medium. There is no high speed on heat. So be aware of that. That's a normal condition. Uh, also, when the heater is in shore power mode, if you have it plugged into a landline, this and this wire is plugged into the shore power, uh, it will only light up the 1500 watt element. Uh, so it'll only use one element. With uh, Gen 2, it doesn't matter. So it, it, uh, the load is uh, reduced because there's already just one element. Okay, we're, so we're gonna talk about the heater. The heater is a electric element located in this section of the box. This section of the box is uh, protected for temperature with this little device here, 170 degrees. This, uh, if it senses that, it will open the uh, white wired circuit and the elements will start cooling off. Uh, you're welcome, this is a Gen 2 unit. Uh, you're welcome to add a second set of, or a second element to this like Gen 1, but you have to advise the customer to manage uh, the 120 volt watt load. Uh, they have to just not plug in the uh, hot plate and the microwave and the coffee pot and the heater all at the same time. Very well. So uh, that's that. Mm -hmm.